Hello, my name is Maria Jalikar. Welcome to my show, Let's Talk About History. Today my guest is Ken Keeley, and Ken has some, some published books on the history of Norwich, the first 300 years of Norwich. So Ken, thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me, Maria. Okay. You're very nice. And can you tell me uh, something, uh, tell me and the viewers something about your book, um, a little bit about your books? Sure. Uh, it was a little under four years ago I did my first one, and uh, it went over pretty well, so I s kept doing more. Uh, so now I'm up, this is my tenth book right here, uh, which should be published in a couple weeks. Uh, and it's basically, it's the five years of my research and photo collection and stuff put together into one book covering 300 years. There's about 320 photos in it, uh, and a lot of them are very unique photos. And what you do is you get to see the infrastructure of Norwich being built uh, chronologically. Uh, you get to see all the buildings in the background, the ones that are here now and the ones that are gone. Uh, you get to see... And, and you have them in chapters, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yes, I go... Uh, it starts off with... Uh, well, it starts off with uh, 1659, you know, on the Norwich Town Green. Uh, the problem with that part of it, uh, they didn't invent photography until the early 1800s, so obviously there's no pictures of that. I did find some etchings and illustrations mm -hmm. to show that part of it, uh, but it, it, it was uh, uh, it was founded in Norwich Town. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that uh, downtown came later. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that. Yes. In yeah, Norwich Town, I heard that the first colonists that settled settled in Norwich Town area. Right. There were so many colonists. That, right. What, yeah. what What happened is uh, uh, the Mohegan Indians were being attacked by the Rhode Island Narragansetts. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the uh, settlers in, Le in uh, I'm sorry, Osaybrook came up to help uh, the Mohegans. Mm -hmm. uh, and they ended up buying the Nine Mile Square from Chief Uncas mm -hmm. in 1659. Yeah, I was reading that a lot of the colonists that came to Connecticut came from Massachusetts, and they said that one of the toughest things to do, the hardest things to do, is clear out all of the briars and the trees to settle a town in Connecticut, that it was very difficult. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was because there was obviously no power tools, mm. You're probably using uh, hand axes. And, I can't imagine how difficult stuff, it yeah. must have been. Yeah. So what is the oldest picture that you have in your book? What uh, is it dated and what is it of? It's, it's on the green in Norwich Town and it's the uh, courthouse. Okay. Yeah, uh, you're going to be showing that picture in a slide. Uh, in the I slides. think it's in there. Uh, yeah. The book has over 320 photographs in it. So, mm -hmm. uh, and it goes chronologically. Okay. And um, what got you interested in publishing this type of book? Well, when I was when I was probably five six years old, my my grandfather Jim Keeley lived on John Street, and he was uh, his hobby was buying and selling books, hmm. and a lot of times he would take me around with him, and he'd show me you know the buildings and explain a lot of things. Mm -hmm. and, uh, then as I got older and got married and had a family and, and a business and stuff, I kind of forgot about everything and just worked on that. So through his interest in books, you acquired an interest in history of Norwich. Right. Yeah. And then in the 90s, I worked with Bill Stanley on doing his books. Mm -hmm. and, and my company, Franklin Impressions, printed all of them. So I really got involved then okay. with it. Uh, so it was about... Uh, almost four years ago that I, you know, really was bored and uh, I decided to do a book because I knew how to do it. Uh -huh. And I had the, the, uh, the photos. <laughs> 
And so I started doing it basically as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And also I wanted to document a lot of Norwich because uh, there really isn't a lot out there as mm -hmm. far as the pictures. My mm -hmm. books are really uh, about pictures. And how did you acquire a lot of the pictures in your books? Uh, I got them through my company. I, I got them through the internet. I've been mm -hmm. on the uh, Library of Congress, the Connecticut State Library, digital collection. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people bring me books of, of oh. stuff that I scan. Oh, nice. Uh, I had a gentleman come and bring me his mother's uh, catalog of the 1938 hurricane. Oh. And wow. they were f they're absolutely fantastic mm. because usually you have to get them out of a newspaper and the quality mm. is not there, but these were very nice. So it, I scanned all of them and it shows all the streets and you know, the buildings yeah. and stuff. These are pictures that she took? Yes, oh. yes. And uh, so he lent so, me him. Um, you have some slides of pictures that were uh, that are in your books. Mm -hmm. um, we can see them now. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay, uh, that's that's the uh, that's the uh, courthouse on uh, oh, Norwich Town Green. One that's that's what I was talking about. What year would that be? I, I would. I'm guessing that would be in, in 1700s, but mm -hmm. I'm not positive. In Norwich Town? Yes. Yes, on the green. Mm. Well, it's long gone. Yeah. All right, that one is the 38 Hurricane. That's Franklin Square, and they're cleaning it up. And as you can see, they're using a broom because there really yeah. wasn't that a lot of equipment to, yeah. to clean up with. And yeah. if you look at the roofs of, of the buildings there, that the Thayer building is on the right. And if you look at the roofs, you can see the tops of the roofs are ripped off from the hurricane oh and all the damage. Mm. Okay, this one is a, another one of Franklin Square looking up towards the Norwich Bulletin's old location and uh, they're putting in the rails for the tro trolley system. Uh, mm. And that was probably in the late 1800s. And you can see the Thayer building isn't there yet. Uh, and to the right very right is the Young's Block where Woolworth would be built in 1950. Oh, okay, yeah. And the first trolleys, people didn't realize they had the rails, but they were horse drawn. It wasn't until years later that they electrified the trolleys. So, what year would this have been about? That's probably right at the beginning, around 1880 or 1885. Mm -hmm. And this is a period when Norwich was known as being the wealthiest right. city. Right. Now it was because of the England. rivers. Th that's uh, Uncas, uh, uh, Uncas Leap or Indian Leap mm -hmm. or uh, the Antic River, and that's probably the first wooden bridge built there. And that's oh, but that's an etching because that was before oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, photography was invented. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite. This is yeah, from uh, Jack picture. Delano's collection. He oh. came to Norwich in 1940 for the government, and he spent oh. a day walking around downtown shooting pictures. This is one of them. It's Thames it's Square, nice, uh, Shannon, yeah. Square oh, Shannon Square, in front of the Savings Society, and it's a rainy day, you can see. Uh -huh. Nice picture. Okay, that's when they were building Laurel Hill. Uh, those are the seven sisters, they were called. They were all mansions, mm. uh, and they were built by the sea captains. And you can see the widow's watch at the top. Uh, they would go up there to look for the boats coming in, because the boats were out for like three months at a time, and there was no communication. Widow's Peaks, you said? Yeah, yeah. watch. Yeah. They would go up there and yeah, see. If, if the boat yeah. didn't show up, uh, they were a widow. Mm. That is uh, Main Street, uh, and that's before the Saving Society was built because it would be right on the right side. And the Saving Society was built uh, around uh, 1890 or so. So mm. that's pre-1890. That's 1901 in Union Square. Uh, in the center top is the Otis Library, the first Otis Library. And uh, Welcome Home, it was called uh, Old Home Week, and it was a big festival in 1901. I think it was like a week long. 
and they had a lot of people that had left Norwich to go to college or, or to go somewhere else and they've invited them back and the intent of this was to try to get them to stay or move back. So that's why they called it Welcome Home. But it was, there's quite a, a few of these pictures in my book. What year did you say that was? That was 1901. Oh, okay. Okay, here's the 38 Hurricane. There's the Palace Theater. And mm. you can see the train trestle. It was right up to the top of it. Uh, and obviously, you know, the palace is gone now. Yeah. It, that's uh, gone. Yeah. And that's uh, looking down at the train station where the Norwich Bulletin is now in the building on the, uh, the left. Uh, and you can see how uh, the trains were uh, situated right next to the harbor because uh, the easiest way to get from Massachusetts to New York was to take the trains to, to the uh, Norwich Harbor and get on a steamer and take the steamer mm. down the Thames and out to the ocean and, mm. and go to New York. This is uh, Shannon Corner. That's the original Shannon building on the left. Uh, and in, 19, in 1909, five months before the 250th anniversary of Norwich mm -hmm. where President Taft attended, that building burned. And th that w was left of it. It burned for 24 hours. It took like seven fire companies to keep, to contain it so the whole city didn't burn down. Uh, mm -hmm. They had to hose down the War Eagan across the street. And a second Shannon building was built <coughs> a few years later, and that one was made out of iron. And that one so still stands. what year would that have been? This is 1909, the 1909. 250th uh, Do anniversary. Do they know how it started to catch yeah, <coughs> on fire? It, it, it started from rats chewing electrical wires in the oh. wall. And that's President Taft in 1909 uh, visiting. With him, seated with him, is Winslow Williams, who owned the Yantic Mills. And he was friends with him. So uh, Taft had just been elected. And he got him to come to Norwich to the celebration. And <clears throat> he's actually in the first uh, presidential automobile, which was a steamer. Uh, mm. It was built by White Company. And you can see the steam coming mm. out of the back. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was the first president to ride the streets in, a, in an automobile instead of the horse and buggy. That actually is uh, Thames Square. Uh, that going up the hill as you're heading towards uh, East Great Plain, and the building with the carriage in front of it is where uh, at one time was uh, uh, Cooper's Drug Store, uh, and that's Thames Street that's on, and going up is West Main Street. Oh, okay. And that's the trestle that was built to go from the, uh, the Norwich Railroad Station downtown across the Chautauqua to Laurel Hill, mm -hmm. and then they built a, a tunnel under the Laurel Hill Bridge so it could keep going along the banks on Laurel Hill. Really? The tunnel's not still there. Yeah, yeah, still there. Oh. Yeah. People use it now. Nobody uses it. The train it. uses it. Oh, yeah, okay. it's underneath. It's oh, not that's a, it's, right. it's, it's, only, right. it's only the, uh, the width of the bridge. That's right, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, a very early picture looking from uh, Jail Hill down on Union Square. And you notice the steeple on the uh, right of the church. That was the highest point in downtown, that was hit by lightning uh, somewhere around 1885. And it, it destroyed it enough where it had to be taken down and it was never put back up. Mm. And that is, uh, that's the other train station, that's Union Station. And it's, it was called Union because it served two different railroads. That is actually built on the Yannick River. Uh, on the right is Hollyhock Island, and on the left is the west main, uh, the west side. So it's that thing was built oh, okay. on pilings in yeah. the water. Oh wow! Huh. 
Okay, and that's the 1909, 250th anniversary. The second car is President Taft in his uh, white steamer. Mm -hmm. uh, and that photo is, uh, is from, uh, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, Taftville, oh, Ren uh, Rennie Dugas. Oh, Rennie Dugas. Rennie Dugas, that's yes, right. that was one of his photos. Mm -hmm. And that's the Laurel Hill Bridge, and that's during the 1936 Freshet, uh, which was when uh, there was so much spring melting of snow and, and rain and stuff that the Chetucket and the Yantic poured water down to the harbor, and they raised the harbor up right into Franklin Square, Bath Street, Franklin Street. But people were up there watching it. It was in a flood. Yeah, yeah. it was a 1936 flood. Oh. And that's the 1950s, uh, mm -hmm. a downtown shot. You can see the Lincoln Store, uh, you can see the Savings Society, the War Regan, uh, and you know, kind of what I remember. Uh, I was young in the 50s, but uh, I do remember those, those stores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's an earlier photo, obviously, of uh, when the automobiles really started to take over, there's still trolleys, you can see the tracks, but they were being phased out at this time. And that's Franklin Street, Franklin Square looking up uh, Franklin Street. And that is uh, Greenville, oh. that building on the left. Uh, so I think it was called the Kelly Building, I'm not positive. Mm. But that burned down not many years ago. Uh, but you can see the double trolley tracks that was because uh, that's Central Avenue, and the trolley station was uh, out towards Taffville, at where uh, North Main Street and uh, Central Avenue intersected. So they had two sets, one ingoing and one outgoing, because so all the yeah. So this must have been before the Hurricane of '36, because during the Hurricane of '36, uh, all the trees well, were the, knocked down. Well, the hurricane was '38. 38. Right. Yeah. But what okay. happened though is those are all elms mm -hmm. and the elm disease hit oh, and it destroyed right. all the tree all the elms and the ones that it was right about the time of the 38 hurricane. So mm -hmm. the trees that was trying to survive were finished off by the 38 hurricane. Okay. And we lost thousands of elm trees. Yeah. And people have been trying to plant them back. Right? Yeah, but it takes too the too much. The cemetery, I yeah. think. Yeah. Well, the 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 elm disease is still here. Oh, it so is. So if you plant an elm, it takes a lot of care. Oh. Uh, you have to treat it every year. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. You were talking about the tunnel, you know, and the bridge. Um, was there any mention of um, underground railways? You know. I've heard of them. I don't really know much yeah, about it. Yeah, no, that's I've something really I've never looked into. Yeah. Uh, I guess there were some buildings that had uh, yeah. uh, tunnels That'd under them. That'd be interesting right. to find out about. So um, you, you're, you'll be at the Otis Library um, yeah, I'll in be, September. Uh, I have, I have, uh, you have a, a couple events a, you're going to yeah. be at. Well, my book, my new book has, uh, I, I did the PowerPoint presentation to go with it. So uh, I have the first one at uh, Franklin Library, but that, they said that's already filled. Uh, <clears throat> so in September, I'm having one at Otis, and I'm having one at Epicure. Uh, okay. uh, uh, but it, th those dates, I'm still working on. And so if anyone's interested in your book, purchasing your book, they can yeah, all, see all, you there. They can see me there. Uh, just go to Facebook uh, with my name, Ken Keeley. I'm, okay. I, I'm always on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, they can get a hold of me there. And I do have the books at the uh, Bacchus Hospital's gift shop. Okay. And All they've right. been there. Thank you. All right, Ken, thank you very much. You're quite um, welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, I hope you, the viewers, enjoyed my show today. And um, thank you for watching my show. Thank you.